My name is Aina. Um, I'm a, a former atheist, and in fact, I would actually refer to myself as an evangelistic atheist. My family, we had some just some really traumatic event, events between people with suicide and and depression, and and I guess it was at that point that I was like, "There's no way." No way there's a God up there because he wouldn't allow this stuff to happen. From there, I moved into, I guess, atheism. I was just totally opposed to any idea that there was a God. It was, to me, just totally pointless. If someone shared their fate or, or me or what they believed in, I would really take it upon myself to try completely talk them and, and logic and rationalize them out of that belief. Massive idols for me were uh, Richard Dawkins and Christopher Hitchens. If you believed in God, probably the first thing I personally felt was just anger. And genuinely, I can't express, I think, harshly enough just how stupid um, I thought you were. When I would come at people with like evolution arguments and, and basic science, uh, they just would have absolutely no answers for any of these things. Being a sports scientist, I was like, you guys, you just can't give me anything right now. An anything that could possibly move me in the way of believing that there's a God they wouldn't be able to explain the process of evolution for me. So I'd be like, you can't even explain this, so why should I take what you're saying in these areas as true? You're, you're just an idiot. I think what began to kind of open my mind up a little bit is when I met my now fiance, who was a Christian. Within the first week, she did bring me over to her, her, her parents. And they were all, her, her parents were Christians too, her whole family were Christian. And I'm sure they knew I, I didn't have a relationship or didn't believe in God, but they were, didn't make a difference to them. They just loved me, they embraced me. They were just amazing people. And I knew at that moment that what I believed about people who believed in God was wrong. I eventually um, decided to, to go to church with them. The speaker was one of the lead research scientists at Trinity College in Dublin, which is one of the most prestigious colleges in Europe. I just remember being so just perplexed by the, this idea that there's a scientist up there um, and it doesn't inhibit him at all in his, his job. It was, it was extremely confusing to me. It really made me think I need to understand what I actually personally believe. So I, I continue uh, reading the Bible. I'm reading about Jesus. I'm not just getting a picture of what Jesus is from other people. I'm actually reading what it says about him. And I'm not saying at this point I believed in God or believed in any, any of the miracles or any of that. But what I could say was that this guy, Jesus, is a remarkable dude. And so I really was definitely I guess for the first time actually impressed with what I read in the Bible as opposed to just angered and confused and so the resurrection even still it was I was at a point where okay maybe 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 as opposed to now let's just accept Jesus is outstanding going forward like this whole confusion and, and then it, it just got into the sense am I just doing this because of my now fiance and all these things were coming to my head and I didn't know where I was really with, with what I truly believed. So I started to do Christian things, um, talking a little bit differently, avoiding any sort of atheist because I just didn't have any answer for them. And I can't really say that this is so real. Like God, yeah, God is real. I couldn't, like even though I made that commitment, it just, it's like the more I read the Bible, the less I believed. I was like, surely that's backwards. I remember just sitting on my sofa and hurt, angry. And then I'm 
I remember in that, right in that moment, a voice came into my head as I was thinking about just how awful these things were and, and I just couldn't do it and oh, all these things that I just couldn't believe. A voice just came into my head and said, said to me, who are you proving yourself to? And it cut to the core of me and I just broke down crying. Specifically for that moment, there is not one person alive that could tell me what happened that could rationally explain that um, in some scientific sense. And from, from that moment, I was like, this is, this is real. This is amazing. <laughs> this is, wow, God is actually good. I'm, ex I'm right now experiencing how awesome he is. And then all the Bible, everything, all the miracles, everything, it just made sense. It just, of course he could do that. He could change my life with a question. I remember that week being like, I need to get away. God, I want to get away and just, I want to get to know you better. I want to talk to you. So I, I went on a trip. I actually went to Port Aransas by myself, turned the phone off. I remember one particular night I'd, I'd, I'd been asking God, you know, show me these lies. Reveal these lies to me that I've been believing. And from 12 a.m. to 5 a.m., I was writing on my iPad sporadically and not having a clue what I was writing until I afterwards it was finished and I read it. <laughs> Once again, I'm like, how can I explain this? If I say this to any of my atheist friends, they are going to think I've lost my mind. But I, it's the truth. I don't, I can't explain what happened. It was amazing and it, I, it so from this point on having been in a kind of position where i was like i would say i was a christian but if they were atheists i'd probably just be like eh. to being in this position now where i'm like this is the truth i know this is for real after he revealed himself to me i had this completely open mind to go back and, and say, okay, well, let's let's look at the evidence. If this, I've experienced that this is the truth, so there has to be evidence for the truth. So I went back and did that, and that's why OrdeoF is so powerful because it shows. And it, I guess if I could sum it up in a word, it, it humbled me, uh, it's in, incredibly humbling because it really showed me how little I knew about what I believed as an atheist. So this is the first time really I'm actually looking and pursuing uh, rationale and logic and truth from a perspective of theism. Uh, and with the likes of what I've experienced with RDOF, it's amazing. It's, it's truly amazing that there is evidence there. If you come to one of these events and you're willing to talk with Christians um, and hear their point of view, I promise you, you are already more open-minded than I was. Um, and that's encouraging for you. So I would continue to encourage you uh, to keep seeking the truth. It even says in the Bible, if you seek the truth, you'll find the truth. If you're a Christian, don't, don't be afraid of someone, um, if they're an atheist. Love these people. Just because they don't believe what you believe, continue to be in relationship. Be friends with these people. Um, they are looking for answers. And the truth has the answers for them.